when it has been decided that instrument is required to be installed for specific service, the next job is to select the most suitable instrument type. The question is, how can we select the right type of instrument with the right specification? For example, in the flow instrument selection, there are many types of instrument available in the market. So in this video, we are going to discuss several factors that should be considered when choosing the right instrument. The first factor is the process condition and properties. The fluid phase is the first thing to concern either it is gas, liquid, or two-phase fluid. Some type of instruments are only suitable for particular phase, while some others work properly on all kind of fluid phase. The selected instrument must be suitable for the process pressure and temperature operating condition. It also shall withstand to the pressure and temperature designed of the process fluid at maximum and minimum condition. Next is the condition of fluid, whether clean, dirty, or containing slurries. It will also limit the instrument type selection. In addition, corrosiveness of fluid will determine the selection of instrument material. Some instrument types are not designed for high viscosity services. Turbine meter will not work properly in high viscosity liquid. Or in level measurement, the float of magnetic level gauge might stuck and not floating to follow the change of liquid level interface. In case of flow meter selection, other process fluid properties, such as Reynolds number, must also be considered during engineering. The second factor is the range. Range of process variable to be measured shall be specified initially. The wide range will require instrument type which has high turn down ratio. It means some type of instrument which has low turn down ratio will not be suitable. Flow orifice with single differential pressure transmitter can only has turn down ratio 3. Common turbine meter or positive displacement meter have turn down ratio 10. While Coriolis can have turn down on ratio up to 100 and ultrasonic flow meter even higher. Third factor. Each instrument has static and dynamic characteristics. Accuracy, repeatability, and linearity are some characteristic that mostly being concerned. The selection of instrument based on performance requirement is depend on the purpose of the instrument, whether is it for process monitor, process control, safety, inventory measurement, or custody transfer metering. Next is location and environment. The location of instrument must be specified whether it is classified as hazardous area or not. If so, the design of instrument must be properly chosen to be certified device which comply with the intended area. Ingress protection of instrument enclosure must also be specified to suit the environment, whether it is located in rain or dry, dusted, offshore installation, and etc. The ambient temperature must also be considered because it will affect some parts such as electronic parts and elastic material such as seal and packing. For harsh environment such as extreme temperature, the use of additional instrument enclosure which is equipped with heater must be taken into account. Next is how the instrument will be installed. Space usually becomes an issue especially in an offshore platform where the space is limited. For example, some flow instruments require straight pipe run before and after the point of install. Space Installation of level instrument which measuring low level sometimes becomes an issue when its bottom could contact with the structure surface. 6. Maintenance factor. There are several things which will impact maintenance process. Requirement of process shutdown. 
Ease of dismantling. Special tools or equipment required. Requirement of specialist personnel. Availability of spare part. The capability of instrument to be calibrated in bench or vendor workshop. All these must also be considered when selecting the instrument. Last but not least, instrument price. However, besides initial cost of the goods price and its installation, maintenance cost should be thoroughly evaluated in all aspects, which comprise of spare part price, third-party service cost, and downtime or produ production loss if the instrument requires maintenance.